A while back, I promised you that I would show you how I use Playbook in my business with my clients, and I did not forget about you, I promise, and today is the day. <laughs> We're going to dive into my account, into a demo folder, so I can show you what kind of files you can put into Playbook, how to share them, how to customize them, how it works, the folder system. It's a little bit different than what you're expecting, probably, and how I use it alongside Dropbox and, of course, my device. <laughs> But before I dive into my account, if we haven't met before, my name is Caitlin and I run Launch the Damn Thing. I am a Squarespace educator now, but I started as a graphic designer, turned web designer, turned freelancer, turned solopreneur, turned, I don't know, educator, I guess. <laughs> so I've morphed a lot. I have a lot to share and I go down a lot of rabbit holes, including on tech like this. But when you find something this good, you have to talk about it. And no, I'm not an affiliate. Today is not sponsored. So let's dive into my account and I'll show you you all of the secrets. <laughs> so this is a peek inside playbook. This is a folder, a top level folder. So you can see in my navigation here, I've got several folders or boards as playbook calls them. So that sounds a little bit like Pinterest, right? So it's kind of the same concept, like the board itself is the container, right? So inside that you have elements, files, whatever. Uh, works the same way. So it's vertical hierarchy over here in the sidebar, and then you can have nested stuff inside and however many levels you need. So this is my demo folder. You can display the items in this kind of nested view. So like this is a subboard up here, and then these are loose items or files files in the folder. You can also display them as Kanban view based on like blank or workflows, statuses, ratings, um, topics, I don't know. You can set this default view for everybody else and you can also set it for a timeline view based on when things were added and of course the traditional folder view if you want that. But I'm thinking that's how Dropbox, Google Drive and everything else works. Let's do it this way because this way is more visual. So I'm going to start with that. Um, hidden away in this little menu here, you actually do have an ad board description and that gives you <laughs> little area to kind of describe whatever is in this folder. And that works for subfolders, within folders, within folders, within folders. <laughs> so that's a really neat function and helps you kind of explain the files that are in here if you feel like that's necessary. You can also expand the file size preview. And of course you can search based on a lot of filters, functionality, and you can publish it. So if you click publish, there is a publish to web feature that is on the pro plan, which I am not. So I don't use that, but I do use the share tab, which is also accessible right here. So on the plan that I'm on, it's the artist and designer plan. And with that plan, as of recording, you get up to four terabytes of free space. <laughs> Did I mention that was free? <laughs> free 4,000 gigabytes of space. Holy shit, holy shit, holy shit, right? <laughs> so uh, I have videos in here. I have files in here. I am not currently paying for Playbook. And at the time of recording, at least, that plan is still available. You can apply for it. It is for artists, creators, designers, people that are creative-minded that have generally larger files. So if you apply for it and you get it, you can use it in the same way I'm using it and not pay anything for it. Okay, so let's backtrack a little bit. That was the publish. On this plan, I think you can do one published something, and something that I did early on is still published, and I found that was like, meh, I don't really care. So how I actually use it with clients is once I dump all the files in here, I just click share from the top level of the folder, whichever one I'm sharing, and then just turn this toggle on. And then you have a copy link, just like you would with Dropbox, Google Drive, whatever. Um, so that is the link that you would actually give to your clients. And then that doesn't count against the one or whatever that you can publish. So first things first, one of the things that I have heard from some of my club members is that um, they have done this with a client and they started getting notifications for every file that was uploaded. So up here at the top, you do have sort of your notifications. And this has happened to me too when I used it with a client. So what you want to do is you want to unfollow. So from the dot, 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 ellipsis menu over here on your little profile icon, not the one on the top right, the one in the top left. <laughs> if you click that, you're in the first tab. So what we have here is conversation, share, and publish. It's over here in the same order, conversation, share, publish. Under conversation, you have follow this board or your following. So basically these subscribe you to updates 
in this board. So that's kind of where you go to set whether or not you want notifications. You also have a beta access to the embed codes. So you can actually embed this whole folder like on your website if you want to. Uh, I find that accessing the files through the embed is a little bit clunky. So this actually works better not embedding it, but you definitely can, you can play around with that. So now you know, like you can rename this, you can control the conversation, right? You can follow or unfollow. You can share this publicly with other people that don't have playbook or haven't been invited to the space with you. You can publish it technically. You can change the layout. You can do simple folder view and you can see all assets. You can change the size of the thumbnails and you can search. And there's even more of a menu down here. We could download the whole thing. You can reorder all these options, right? But what can you put in here? That's the most exciting part of all of this. So over here in the top right where you see add, click that and you can either upload a file, whatever file, you can create a new subboard. So that would just be just like this color one here, but let's do a color and let's pick, I don't know, a green. <laughs> We'll add the color, save and close. And now we have literally just a color. There's no file, it's just a hex code. If you click on it, it has the name, it has a copyable color code. How cool is that? <laughs> I'm assuming that if I change the name to vomit green and hit enter, it changes the name on the actual thumbnail of the color, so very cool. Let's drag that into the subboard so we can have all of the colors in the same subboard. So, okay, we can add colors. We can also add notes. Literally, if you have a note to type, you can format some of it. <laughs> you can have a little checklist. Um, so very, very light task list maybe. So that would be great for like maybe offboarding. If you don't have a form, when you send your deliverables, you could send like, this is the stuff that you need to do after we publish the website or whatever. So that's really fascinating. Haven't used that much, but I like that it's there. Uh, then we also have web links. This is my favorite because I send my clients a lot of external files like Canva templates, links to video replays from our meetings that are sitting in Dropbox. Um, let's see what else, Loom videos. All of those things you can paste in with the link and then click add. And that is actually what this one is. So after it uploads, this is kind of what it looks like and it doesn't necessarily give you a preview. So if you wanna be a little bit extra, you can go to the space, take a screenshot and then open the file here in playbook, click on thumbnail and then upload from your desktop. I'm just gonna grab maybe this screenshot right here, and we'll pretend that that's even remotely the same document. And now they have a preview of the link itself. Now for the client, it's a little bit non-intuitive. If they hover and click on the thing, it just opens the image thumbnail of it. To access the link itself, they actually need to click this button over here, open link in new window or share or they can hover over it and click on the link down here on the thumbnail. Like you would expect to just click on the picture and it open a new tab. It doesn't work quite like that. So there's obviously a little area up here for you to rename the file. You can also give it a status. I have several statuses that are more like topic or category. So if it's a Canva template, I'll tag it with the status of Canva template so that there's a yellow label on there that says Canva template. If it's a video, I'll use that. If it's a resource, or a file, I'll use that. So you can kind of decide what that might look like for you. Um, here's just an image. Here's a Google Doc, I think. Yeah, link in new window. So that is a link to the SEO workbook Google Doc. Here we have a video. And you'll notice that this is an actual player because you could see that load when I clicked on it. So if I click play, Henry will start this talking. <laughs> So you can actually embed YouTube videos, Loom videos, and they even have their own player. Let me see if I can find a video file really quickly. Okay, so this is a video file. After it uploads, it's a really short one. It'll process and then it will show me the player. So this is kind of a weird video size. It's meant to be a GIF actually. <laughs> this is Playbook's video player down here. So we could hit play. There's skip forward and backwards, total length of the video, volume, um, speed, picture in picture, and full screen options. 
Playbook has recently updated their video player. It used to actually suck. This one's way, way better. Uh, actually works quite well to put in like meeting videos if you record your meetings with your clients in Zoom and you upload them into Playbook. That works really, really well. So that's files, web links, notes, colors. You can actually upload Google Docs directly. You can pull from your Google Drive or your Dropbox, as you can see down there. Works great for Figma files. So basically, once you are done putting your files in here. We'll grab that share link and we'll open a new private tab, paste it in, and we'll take a look at the client side of this. So this is how they will see it. Uh, they'll have the top level folder. This is the subfolder here. So you can, when I hover over it, the background color slightly changes and there's a border on the left to indicate that that's a group on its own. And then these are just loose files. And I do, I forgot to say too, Let's go back. So you can reorder these if you want just by clicking and dragging them around and wherever that insert marker goes is where it will land. So if I wanted to put that here, I can change the order. I tend to group my videos next to each other. So it's kind of like, like minds, like things. Image, image, doc, doc, video, video, all the colors. <laughs> I know, I'm just OCD, that doesn't really matter. So back in the client view, they can leave comments here if they have a playbook account, I guess. I'm not entirely sure how that works. Let's test that out. And if I send it, oh my gosh, they don't even need an account. <laughs> Okay, I literally have not tested that until this moment, so that is cool. Let's go back to here. Oh, look at that, it showed up. So not only did they not have to have an account or to log in in any form to be able to leave a comment on that, I can actually see it too. So comments work great, obviously. Uh, you can add to this space, add to playbook. To do that, you do have to have an account, so let's back up. You can download everything from here. You can search through everything in here. Let's go back to that main board. And if they click on anything, for example, a video, they can watch the video without needing to download anything. They can just stream it straight from Playbook. They can also download it from here, react to it, rate it, comment on it, whatever. Uh, let's go back to a document that is a link. So if we click open a new window, it'll open a new tab. And that is my fake document. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Let's do the same thing for this one. Open that doc and a new link. There we go. And the video works the same. This as it did in the other view. So that's pretty cool. It looks very simple. It looks very clean. <laughs> There's not a whole lot to do in here, which I really like. The only thing that's a little bit funky is uh, we're not used to being able to see the preview of the doc like this. So I think these little tags right here really help kind of group things a little bit easier. You could also put all of the same types of files into subboards. One of the things that I noticed too is that you can actually stack like files or if you have like a .hgic and a .jpeg uh, or which ones are the same photo but two different file types. So like maybe you have a GIF, maybe you have a movie, maybe you have, I don't know, an MP4 of the same exact video and you put them all in there, they can often stack and it will show you on the actual asset um, but if you have multiple files, you can actually drop them onto each other. Notice how, this is from our vacation a few months ago, notice how it says JPEG and PDF. Um, that is two different file types for one image and you can see both files over here. You can download them individually, um, but it's actually showing one visual instance of that image but two different file types are nested inside. Um, and you can also see that when you hover over it. So see, that's a file type, H-E-I-C, the pixel size, dimensions, all that. Let's do a quick recap because that was a lot to throw at you. <laughs> there are subboards, which is like this color palette. You can put the same kinds of stuff in here that you can in the other one. You can have multiple subboards within a board. You can have labels or statuses for all of your file types. You can stack multiple file types for the same asset. Different versions of the same thing, but in different file formats could stack on each other or nest inside each other. 
you can add anything that I've tried to put in here has worked. So test your limits with that. You can add colors, notes, links. That's especially useful for web designers and Google Docs, Figma, anything from Dropbox or Google Drive and more. And then of course, everything is drag and droppable. So you can reorder the list. You can change the layout of these things. You can even publish it. And if you do that, there are options to show it in various ways. You can even change the background color, add your custom logo. <laughs> Um, but you can only do one published thing at a time on the plan that I'm on, which is the artist and designer plan. Otherwise, you just need to turn on the share function, grab the link. Uh, you can invite someone particularly. You can embed this whole folder system in some other thing. Notion probably works. Uh, Squarespace definitely works. And then, of course, you can ask your client to comment on it if they have questions. So they can apparently do that without logging in. And of course, you can subscribe. See, it says you are following. If I click on that, it says I've unsubscribed to this board. And if I go back, I can click on this again. You're following, unfollow. Now I'm not following the updates on either board, so I won't get notifications if that's something that I don't want. So that's a pretty cool system, right? But it's also a pretty cool system to be able to see all of your files rather than looking at those folder icons or page icons and all of that that we're kind of used to. So it is sort of a marriage between Pinterest and Dropbox. <laughs> So let me know in the comments if you are pretty psyched about this option, if you're gonna go check it out, if you think it's pretty cool, if you've tried it and you hate it. <laughs> I'm super curious, what are you thinking about Playbook? Are you gonna implement this? Let me know in the comments. And if you wanna know why I brought this up initially, check out this video next where I talk about how I use it in my client process. <laughs> That's all I have for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>